everyone, my name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. It's going to be about how to get a job at Abercrombie & Fitch. Now, this is going to be an update, a 2016 update, because many of the other videos are quite outdated and some things have changed. Um, not everything. And I just want to give an update and to help you guys get that job. Let's begin with how to apply. And the videos that I've watched, there were two types. You either go in store and go on a computer, you need a password, this and that. This is a hassle. But now in 2016, just go online. It's more convenient. It's easy. It's in your own comfort zone, wherever you are with a laptop and internet. Go to Abercrombie Careers in that section and click to apply. I will also like to mention that you have to be 18 years old and older to work at Abercrombie so I'm sorry for those of you who are 17 or 16 but you can work at Hollister they do hire a lower than 18 I think um, it's 17 or 16 not sure but you can look it up and try that store the great thing about applying to Abercrombie is that you need no resume and you don't really need any experience that was my case this was my first job and my first time actually being at an interview all I had under my belt was just volunteer experience and being in student clubs on campus. Now the interview date. One great thing about also applying to Abercrombie is that you get to choose when do you want to show up. Well not exactly any time or any um, day but it does give you options to want to show up in the afternoons or in the mornings. Mine was in the afternoon on a Friday or Tuesday. One of those days. But it's great. So now let's move on with the interview questions. Before I was told in, in the group interview, I went to Abercrombie five minutes early and I got the chance to see other interviewers. So what I did was for me, just to feel comfortable, was talk to the other people, make conversation. I recommend you guys to do that just so you would feel more at ease, especially when you're in an interview, you won't be like, oh, I don't really don't know these strangers and whatnot. So, you know, just to get it over with, be friendly. And also, it's good to show that, you know, you are a friendly person. You're not shy to talk to others. Now, now let's move on to the real interview. What I remember is my the manager there walked us out and we sat down this cafe kind of place. It was really chill, I would say. It was four people. It was me and a girl and two guys. Now, with questions. One of the questions I was asked was not what is diversity, which is quite what I saw a lot online is I wasn't asked that question I was asked show a time where you were in a place that you were it was diverse what you do somewhere around those lines now what I would like to uh, recommend and give you a tip is really show specific examples what I told them was oh well I'm a college student and in my classroom and itself even my school as a campus as people who are from Europe you know it's, it's a lot of international students so you know I gave that example and another question that I remember I was asked was, show a time when you're poised. And that word poised, I remember when I was asked, I was like, what, what is that? I was nervous. But thankfully, I didn't go first. There was other people who went first. But also what I would like to recommend is when you don't know something and you hear like another person uh, talk about it, um, don't go off on what they said. Don't try to make it better or a better version. No, just go with what you're experiencing and what you know. So I didn't know this word poise. What is? It? But in my head, I'm like, well, I think it means some an outgoing person. I mean, just because the word poise, it just sounds like that to me. So I just said, you know, a time is when I'm on campus or when social clubs or even a classroom itself. I'm really outspoken. I'm not afraid to ask questions to the professor or even when it's time to get in a group. I know for some people, uh, it's so horrible. But to me, you know, I'm like, hey, um, you want to be in my group or you know. Just demonstrate that you really have that personality that you're really friendly another question that I was asked was what's your style who influences your style now my style would be a bit of edgy and uh, flirty and feminine it's a really a mix of it really creative I really don't like to close myself in a box and just be like oh you know I just like to wear dark clothes and I'm edgy no I like to try new things I'm open to new ideas new styles now who influences and what I've said is People I see on the streets, I see someone that's really having this cool, like, edgy, but yet um, minimalistic style, you know. And also, as well as magazines, movies in itself, as well, internet. The last question I remember I was asked was, show a time when you went beyond customer service or actually went beyond the customer's needs. 
since I didn't have a job, I used what I for my volunteer experience, and that was at a local church. I volunteered on Thanksgiving to feed the homeless. So what I did was I noticed there was I was unorganized, and people were getting impatient and receiving their food. There really wasn't like one whole line this, one whole file this, and at the same time it was kind of a ruckus in the background, the plates, the napkins. So what I did is I stepped up and told the team like, hey, you know, let's try to get this organized. Let's work together to have, you know, have the people have a great experience as well. It's just not about providing just a necessity but giving them a great experience now to close off those were the questions that I was asked and also the other people around me and also I would like to give a tips about when you talk about your examples don't just only look at the manager also look at the other people as well just don't you know don't close yourself be aware of your surroundings there's other people listening as well or not but you know keep a good eye contact and also smile show that nice smile you guys have and um, so that was it and also at the same time when um, we were asked this question I was giving my example he was taking notes and taking notes of the other interviews now when everyone finished and wrapped up he just went over about what is Abercrombie and what's an update and also as well um, he asked oh any questions I really didn't have any questions but there's others who did have questions um, would I recommend you asking your interview question no because if you really truly don't have a question, which I know it's quite bad, but if you really don't, it's better to really be honest about it and be like, you really don't, and, and try to really think about what should I ask, because that just does not look good. And also, what if the question comes out quite awkward or, you know, weird? We wrapped up, um, everyone just went on on their own, and that was the whole interview. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video is really helpful, and as well, I hope I spoke to you guys in a very clear and precise way where you guys are not confused. And also, I will make another video about what to wear to the interview. I know I left that out, and it's, it's not as important, but it will be helpful as well to know, like, you know, what should you wear. So, um, hold on to that. And if you like my video, like and subscribe. Leave a comment section down below. I want to know, did you guys get the job or how did it went? And thank you guys so much. Bye.